Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Uh, Pastor Greg, hmm? you look a little lost. Are you off in La La Land? Sorry, I was a little lackadaisical. I guess it's time to get out of La La Land and get into LL Land. Today's letter is L. This is an uppercase L, and this is a lowercase L. L makes a ooh sound, like in slam <laughs> or Lego. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was a little lost in thought. Being out in this boat reminded me of where we used to live in the great state of Minnesota. Okay, but Minnesota starts with an M, not an L. Yes, but listen to what these Lutheran preschoolers from Minnesota have to tell us. Oh, for cute. Minnesota has over 10,000 lakes, and lakes begins with the letter L, and Minnesotans love their lakes, even in the middle of winter. Two, one, two. Oh. <laughs> Oofta. Call those ladies what you want, a little loopy, lunatics, or just plain loco. But a few feet of ice and sub-zero degree temperatures won't stop them from taking a little swim. Another great L word from the land of lakes is lutefisk. Um, can you explain what lutefisk is to our viewers? Yeah, sure, you betcha. Lutefisk is a traditional Norwegian dish. It's a fish soaked in lye that can lie around for days, and I'm not lying about any of that. But even better than lutefisk is a little lunch. A little lunch means something special in Minnesota. You could have a little lunch at practically any time of the day. And I love how liberally they interpret that word little. Those are great examples of L words, but what about our Bible character for today? L is for Luke. Luke was a doctor who became a follower of Jesus. So why is Luke an important character in the Bible? Well, Luke didn't just lounge about in his doctor's office. He also went on several lengthy trips with the Apostle Paul. And he gathered lots of stories from people who had seen what Jesus did firsthand. And he listed those off into books that are now included in the Bible. Which books of the Bible were written by Luke? The first book is called The Gospel of Luke, which tells stories about Jesus being born, Jesus healing other people, Jesus healing us all through the cross, and Jesus coming back to life again even after he had died. Luke also tends to write stories about ladies like Mary and Martha. The other book is called The Acts of the Apostles, which talks about how the first disciples told everyone they could the good news of Jesus. The book of Luke sounds like a great place to learn more about Jesus. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next time. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we.